Hi there. So let's talk about interrogating the column properties. This is where I have got the table. Let's go to transform data. That's where I have got the power query editor. Now the data profiling tools provides a new and intuitive way where we can clean transform and understand the data within the power query editor. It includes column quality, column distribution and column profile. By default, you would see this green color bar just beneath the column header, which tells you about the quality of the data that you have in the column. What is valid? What are the errors? How many of it is empty? To get a better view of this, we can go to the view option and enable the column quality. This column quality feature label values in rows in three different categories. Valid, which is shown in green, error shown in red, and empty shown in the dark gray. These indicators are displayed directly underneath the name of the column as a part of a small bar chart. After this, we have got the column distribution. So if I click on column distribution, you will be able to see that it provides a set of visuals underneath the names of the columns, showcasing the different frequency and the distribution of the values in each of the column from top to bottom. Then we have got the column profiling. So if I enable the column profiling, you will be able to see that it has given me a more in-depth look at the data within the column. This is where I can see the complete value distribution. Apart from it, I do have an option where I can also group by based on the value, based on the textual length and so on and so forth. That's about the column properties.